Hey there, Mark here with Cub Crafters Northeast and Great Lakes. We got a package coming, and this is the beginning of Yankee One. Hi folks, I'm Mark Keniston from Cub Crafters Northeast, and I'm coming to you from uh, my workspace here at the Saratoga County Airport in upstate New York. Uh, our identifier is 5 Bravo 2, and I uh, encourage you to come visit me here at the airport and uh, check out what's going on with our project. We started this about a month ago. Uh, we took on this project. We're building a EX3, which is our kit version of the FX3, uh, our builder assist airplane. Uh, this is a uh, 363 fuel-injected engine with a 2,000-pound gross weight airplane. Part of what we're doing in this kit process is uh, we're updating our manuals um, and we're bringing to you, uh, the end user, the purchaser of our kits, a little information or a little more information about what we're doing with this project, uh, the steps in the process, uh, some hiccups, if you will. Um, I'm not without mistakes and uh, I've made a few and I'll share those with you as I'm going along. Uh, I want to emphasize to you that um, it's a, it's a project that anybody can do with, with modest mechanical skills. Uh, we've got tremendous resources with our books and manuals. Um, we have uh, a tech support line that you can call or email or text uh, just about any time of the day, uh, and they're fantastic as well. So um, as you're watching our videos, as you're checking out uh, this build process and others like it, um, don't sit there thinking that this is too much for you. It's, it's really not I'm going to uh, walk you around this particular portion of the project. This is our left wing. Um, been working on this since about the first part of December. I spend roughly uh, five to six hours a day uh, on this project. I have some experience uh, having built an airplane before with my dad. We recovered a J3 years ago when I was a kid. Uh, I know my way around this uh, pretty well, but even so, having that experience, um, there's new parts in this project that I've not seen before. So a lot of what I'm doing here, I have no experience with, just like maybe you wouldn't. So, uh, but that's the reason for the manual and our tech support. I'm going to walk you around this wing, um, showing you some things that I've done with it. Um, it's important to know that... Um, Everything you look at here, these pieces, parts, um, all the assembly materials required come with the kit. Uh, and when you get the kit, it comes in this big box here. Uh, everything is in that box. And, um, and one of the first steps you do is uh, you've got a large inventory list. You want to go through and inventory your parts. And that can take you a couple of days. So uh, it's important to know uh, where everything is, how to find it. For me, uh, I'm doing the wings first, and this is the left wing. And so I separated all my parts for the wing kit into one area uh, on the floor here, most of them. Uh, I've got my spars for the right wing there on the floor along the fuselage. We have leading edge covers over here, or leading edge skins, I should say. Uh, there's drag tubes in this box with uh, nose ribs right here. These are nose ribs. They come uh, all pre-stamped or pre-drilled. There's a little trimming involved, but no big deal. Uh, the main ribs right there in the box. And uh, so everything's right where it can easily be found. We have parts inventory bins that are well labeled. And of course, you couldn't do it without the manual and the manuals are very well laid out and uh, easy to follow. And for me, what I've been doing is uh, I've got a clip here because as I said earlier, sometimes you have to flip ahead in the manual to figure things out, but you don't want to lose your page in the back where you are. And I would go through and I would read and as I read an instruction, I would highlight it so I know that I did that step and I at least read it. And once I completed a step or a process, well, then I would check mark the page there up in the corner. I know I've done that and I can move on. So uh, 
and we're trying to improve on the manual too for for you folks our end users so um, you know I felt that this portion here needed to be moved in the manual so I'm making that recommendation as I said right here's the uh, the left wing um, started by laying the, the spars out um, once we got the spars laid out why then uh, we have to locate the uh, brackets that go on the spars uh, those get bolted on uh, installed these uh, brackets here if you will uh, those get riveted on in place those are rivets that we buck with a bucking bar and a, uh, a rivet gun and those support our drag tubes these are drag tubes here uh, some of the areas that that I've been challenged with not being an AMP mechanic or uh, an inspector of any kind is you know learning how to dimple metal correctly learning what a, a good set rivet looks like and what it doesn't look like as an example um, when you're drilling uh, making sure you use a drill stop so that you don't over drill metal these are all things that uh, maybe you've heard about you know, I've certainly heard about them, but never really employed or practiced. So I'm in the process of installing the false spar, which is this piece of metal right here. that travels all the way down the trailing side of the uh, rear spar. And putting that in place, it gets riveted. And I'm also measuring uh, the aileron in place. There's certain clearance and distances for the bracket. So I'm in the process of doing that. Wanted to wrap up this video segment, most importantly to uh, invite you people to follow along. Um, there'll be several resources that you can follow. Uh, our website, we have a blog. Uh, I'm also doing forum posts uh, quite regularly now. Um, so you can follow along. Uh, if you have questions, uh, certainly you can run them past me or our tech support people at the factory. Um, we have a dedicated staff uh, relative to kits, so if you have questions, you can certainly uh, call those people there as well. I hope you'll continue to follow along with me as uh, we're building this airplane. I hope to have this particular wing done this week. Uh, then we'll hang it up on the wall over here, get it out of the way, and, and move on to building the right wing. So um, from all of us at Cup Crafters, uh, we thank you for following along. and. Uh, Check back with us here in a little bit. Uh, we'll have more information on the continuation of our EX3. Thanks.